In this video, we are going to talk about the environmental problems around the world, specifically about climate change and air pollution. So, climate change is one of the most important issues of our time, affecting all regions of the world, and it is a challenge for global politics in the 21st century. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change defines climate change as a change directly or indirectly attributed to human activity that alters the composition of the global atmosphere and which is, in addition to natural uh, climate variability, observed over comparable periods. So climate change refers to long-term changes in temperatures and weather patterns. Okay, so let's see some data about climate change. Um, these changes in temperatures can occur naturally, caused, for example, by variation in the solar cycle. But since the 19th century, climate change has been caused by human activities, especially through the burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, or gas. The burning of these fossil fuels generates greenhouse gas emissions. These gases wrap around the earth like a blanket, trapping the heat generated by the sun and raising the earth's temperatures. Examples of greenhouse gas emissions that cause this climate change are carbon dioxide and methane. These are produced, for example, by the use of petrol for driving or the use of coal to generate heat in a building or in a house. Just 30 years ago, it was only uh, environmental scientists who talk about climate change, but today we all know and suffer from its effects. So our planet's climate is changing drastically. In this regard, the United Nations estimates that temperatures have been rising uh, by at least one degree in the last 130 years. Specifically, the Earth's temperature is now 1.1 warmer than it was at the end of the 19th century. The last decade was the warmest in record. This number and the number of 1.1 degree may seem small, but it is already a great threat to the planet and to all human beings. We must also remember that this figure is uh, a global average, which means that some areas are warming much faster, as in the case in the Arctic. Also, the World Meteorological Organization estimates that it is a 50% probability that the annual average temperature will reach 1.5 degrees in the uh, coming years. The 1.5 degree is not a random figure, because if we reach that number, the negative consequences will be highly damaging. Also, according to the latest United Nations reports and thousands of scientists, limited global temperature rise to no more than 1.5 degrees is the limit to avoid irreversible and very dangerous climate impacts for human beings. However, it is estimated that by the end of the 21st century, there will be an increase of 2.8 degrees. It is worth remembering that in the last 17 years, we have experienced 16 of the warmest years on record. Similarly, the period between 1983 and 2017 in the Northern Hemisphere has been recorded as the warmest in the last 1,400 years. In this regard, the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights has stated on numerous occasions that the adverse effects of climate change have negative impacts on the right to life, on the right to health, the right to an adequate food, and the right to drinking water, among others. Okay, so the cause of climate change is the increase in emissions carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that trap energy in our atmosphere, uh, such as heat, causing this, gr this greenhouse effect. It is fossil fuels such as coal, oil, or gas that contribute most to climate change, accounting for 75% of global greenhouse gas emissions. These emissions are caused directly or indirectly by humans.
specifically the human activities that emit the most greenhouse gases and therefore contribute the most to climate change mm -hmm. are the energy generation, because nowadays only a quarter of electricity is generated through renewable energy sources, such as wine uh, and solar, um, the manufacture and industry, the cutting down of forest, uh, because when forests are cut down, the carbon they have been store stored is released. And in, the, in addition, forests are important because they absorb carbon dioxide. So um, cutting down this, these trees means less capacity for the land to remove emissions. Um, this, the, the next activity is the use of transport, the food production, uh, the consumption in buildings, because currently buildings consume more than half of total electricity as they continue to use fossil fuels for uh, heating and cooling. Um, and finally, the daily consumption, because our lifestyles has a big impact on our planet. So let's see some effects of, of the climate change. Well, as we said, climate change generates a rise in temperatures that translates into multiple consequences, such as the melting of the poles or extreme heat waves. Similarly, climate change is causing more severe droughts that increase the land and severity of the wildfire season. In addition, drought is leading to an increase in high risk areas for uh, wildfires. Also, severe droughts and rising water temperatures cause water quality and quantity to decrease. And climate change can also lead to increased rainfall uh, in different areas, resulting in severe floods. Europe is a territory that regularly suffers from floods. However, it is likely that with worsening climate change, the frequency of flooding will increase even more. All these related problems lead to further species loss and biodiversity loss. Um, and finally, due to global warming, sea and no cell levels are also rising. In addition to all the effects that climate change has on the Earth, it also affects directly our health because there will be less land to grow crops and less food. Uh, our lives will be threatened by extreme weather uh, events and Climate change will be affect our entire economy and governance. Okay, so now um, let's see the uh, air pollution. The air pollution it is defined as the presence of chemical, physical, and biological ions that alter the natural characteristics of the atmosphere. Okay, so let's see some data. Well, air pollution causes around seven million deaths worldwide each year. This is because, as the United Nations estimates, almost the entire world population, 99%, breathes polluted air that exceeds the air quality limit set by the World Health Organization. So this means that 9 out of 10 people are exposed to this pollution. Furthermore, it should be remembered that in developing countries, women, children, and the elderly are most affected by this type of pollution in addition to low-income population who are often exposed to high levels of pollution, both indoors and outdoors, due to the use of wood and paraffin or kerosene to cooking and uh, heating. So we can say that air pollution is clearly a global problem that causes major problems. And if we do not try to reduce it, the number of deaths caused by outdoor pollution will increase by more than 50% by 2050. Okay, so this pollution comes from our industrial activity that emits substances into the atmosphere that are, that are harmful to the planet, such as soot, ocean, or greenhouse gases. For example, the petrol and diesel power transport, mining, and agricultural industries produce unhealthy chemicals. But also landfills, fire, deforestation, industrial infrastructure, and even natural phenomena such as sand, sand, sandstorms or volcanic eruptions also can contribute to the air pollution. Here we can see a picture of how is the air in the Taj Mahal in India, where they have a major air pollution problem. 
Okay, so let's see some effects of uh, the air pollution. It, uh, the air pollution it is considered to be a major cause of preventable illness and death. So polluted air can lead to lung cancer, stroke, heart disease and diabetes, and causes millions of deaths. In addition to health impacts, it also affects our economy. Thank you very much for watching the video and we invite you to watch the next ones.